Hi right, guys, it is a gorgeous day here in the end times <clears throat> in Doomsday Eco Lodge here on St. Croix, Virgin Islands. I just finished my climate change meltdown roundup rant. But before I head down to the beach here on Wednesday, January 21st, 2015, before uh, heading down to the beach, I just could not help this short rant on I've been doing a number of, of rants recently on my newest Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, Pope Francis, who's been uh, sounding like a regular, like a regular uh, environmental alarmist. The Pope talking correctly recently about how mankind is destroying the Garden of Eden and how climate change is taking down this planet and and how the global corporatocracy is a bunch of goddamn greedy pigs planet eating pigs I've been cheering them on and uh, so what did my new Humpty Dumpty tribe hero you know I, I've been wondering uh, watch on this I said okay when is this guy going to touch on the Pope, the head of the Catholic Church, uh, the, those breeding like rabbits, Catholics, uh, when is he going to weigh in to the subject of overpopulation, which is hands down the single biggest threat to the Garden of Eden? It's the be fruitful and multiply edict. And, uh,. I, I have to admit, I, I, I thought this chicken shit was never going to come up and come out with it, but lo and behold, when was it? Uh, the day before yesterday, I believe. Several stories on this. This is the French News Service. Pope says Catholics do not need to breed, quote, like rabbits. I could not... Uh, believe it. The uh, the Pope, Pope Francis, has said that good Catholics do not have to breed, quote, like rabbits. Defending the Church's stance on artificial contraception and appealing to the world's 1.2 billion Roman Catholics to practice responsible. Parent, parenting. Uh, speaking to journalists on his flight back from the Philippines, the Pope said that he once asked a mother of seven children who was pregnant with her eighth if she wanted to, quote, leave behind seven young orphans. She said... I trust in God, close quote, but God gave us the means to be responsible. Some think, and excuse the term, that to be good Catholics, they must be like rabbits, close quote. So he didn't actually use the term breed like rabbits, but I don't think he was talking about that they need to start eating lettuce. Um, following, following the church's teachings, the Pope said, did not mean, quote, Christians should have children one after the other, he said. All right. And his comments came at the end of his trip to the Philippines, the Catholic Church's Asian stronghold, which last year passed a family planning law after a 15-year battle by the church to block state-sanctioned contraception. The new Philippine law allows the government to begin distributing free contraceptives
two millions of poor Filipinos. Uh, it was a rare loss for the church, which has for centuries been one of the nation's most powerful uh, institutions. Um, the Pope said that his predecessor had foreseen the rise in policies restricting childbirth. Quote, Paul VI was worried by the growth of neo-Malthusianism, which advocates restricting the number of children the poor can have, uh, which tried to put a control on humanity. He was a prophet, Francis said. Does he, does he mean Paul VI was a prophet or Malthus was a prophet? Uh, in 2013, six months after becoming Pope, Francis urged the church to drop its, quote, obsession with contraception in an interview signaling a dramatic shift <coughs> in the Vatican's tone. Yep. Uh, so good for him. And let's see, last week when discussing the deadly attack by Islamist gunmen uh, against that weekly newspaper's depiction of the Prophet Mohammed, the Pope said, quote, If a good friend speaks badly of my mother, he can expect to get punched. Th this guy, I I anyway, I, 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 you know, I, I like this guy, but when I was when I was reading this a couple of days ago, the reason I held off for my rant is because I was waiting to see what the reaction to this uh, breeding like rabbits or being like rabbits comment, because I knew goddamn well that uh, the Pope could sit here and call out these damn planet eaters, talk about mankind destroying the Garden of Eden, uh, blah, 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 talking about climate change and all of this, and there would be no major reaction except from a bunch of these goddamn uh, right-wing Republican lawmakers, you know, the Pope talking about climate change. But I was figuring, uh, yeah, I knew damn well that these comments on overpopulation and that Christians don't need, uh, meaning Catholics, uh, don't have to be, have one child right after another, that I knew goddamn well that uh, th these comments, were that, that you were going to see a flip-flop as whoever in the Catholic Church above the Pope called him in to their office yesterday and uh, said, all right, buddy, you have crossed the line with this one. And so here we have it, several versions on this story. Since I started with the French News Service, I'll stick with it. We see the headline today, this morning on... Uh, on uh, January 21st, Pope rose back. Pope rose back from Rabbit's comment and praises large families. What a surprise. Who exactly was it? It makes me wonder that uh, slapped Pope Francis on the wrist. Pope Francis on Wednesday this morning described large families as a, quote, gift from God just days after he said Catholics did not need to, quote, 
breed like rabbits, although the actual quote is be like rabbits, in an apparent attempt to put the controversial comments he made on his way back from a visit to the Philippines into context, <clears throat> the Argentinian argued that the global economic system is the primary cause of poverty rather than overpopulations. Yes, uh, quote, healthy families are essential to the life of society. It provides us with consolation and hope to see so many large families who welcome children as a gift from God. These families know that each child is a blessing, close quote. There you go. That is the Pope rowing back. Ah, uh, yes. Following the, this is, you know, I mentioned this, uh, his comment about Christians uh, not having children one after the other. Uh, anyway, yes, the, the Pope backpedaling, arguing that the global economic system is the primary cause of, pro of poverty rather than overpopulation. I, I'm, I'm, I, well, I am going to hit the bullshit detector button. That was bullshit. Uh, it is the double-headed snake of over consumption and overpopulation. It is the consumption-based, the consumption-based global economic system as more and more people on this planet <coughs> adopt the American model of consumption driving their uh, economies is one head of the snake. So even the Pope understands this. It is the twin heads of the two-headed snake over consumption and overpopulation taking down this planet. And uh, I am sorry to see, but I am not one bit surprised to see uh, the Pope backtracking on his comments about Christians not having to be like rabbits. But anyway, it lasted one day, I guess, which is about how long your old doomsday prophet figured it would last. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this rant on my new Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, Pope Francis, who's just stepped a little too far out of the lines. And I'm going to head down to the beach before... It washes away under sea level rise. Bye, guys.